Welcome to the Hardly Awake Podcast. I've had a sickness that like shot phlegm that looked like guns out of my throat forever. And I can finally speak again without coughing. Yep, yep. He's been ill for a long time now. Nick, you look like a recycled can. What's up? A recycled Yo. can? Yeah, like really? just like kind of like your face looks smushed in. Speak for yourself. Who's you got about? more smushing in your face than me. <laughs> me? Yeah, Where? you. Here. <laughs> nah, <dog. laughs> What do you mean? I got, hey, zoom in on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some cutie eyes. Let's move those fucking glasses real quick. <laughs> I don't wear them for that. I wear them for the blue light, dog. <laughs> Someone yesterday Where's said that the were... blue light here? <laughs> I just feel like when I wear these glasses, it makes me, like, able to, like, hold conversations longer. <laughs> Why are you giggling? <laughs> That's funny. Alright, so cool. Bro, <laughs> dog, you look like your New Year's resolution hasn't started. Yo, you... you Come on, bro. You already told me I look like a fucking can, alright? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. I you think I told to you before. talk shit about you You look like you, you gave anything. up. Nick has the highest, like... See, this man fast daily. Yep. What are you doing? What do you mean, dude? I'm just fucking getting right. everything ready. Nick fast daily. And when do you... What's your eating habits? Like, your time? I fast for like 18 hours. <laughs> what what's wrong with that all right so what do you when do you start eating like nick probably wakes up at what time you wake up 12 in the afternoon no you did today y- bro i swear to god you did your yesterday. entire purpose in life is just to make me look like shit in front of other people i swear to god <laughs> nah dog i'm being 100%. real you can't handle- bro i've woken up before you at like 9 a.m I woke up at 8.30. I woke up at 6.50 on Sunday morning. Okay. I woke up at fucking 9 yesterday. Yeah, I woke up at 11 today. You woke up at 9 yesterday? I was up at 7. Didn't see you. Yeah, you were up at 7 from the night before. Eat my dick. <laughs> like what? No, I'm just saying. What time do you wake the up? The fucking today, marker of responsible over here. Listen, no yeah, one. Yeah, I woke up at 11:30 today. Oh, 11:30. But I also Look woke at you up rounding initially down, at 8:30. Yeah, for how long? 10 minutes? No, for like a half an hour. You were still sleeping. I, I was awake. No, you weren't. You hit me up to go to the gym at 8:30 in the morning. No, I looked and you were asleep, so I didn't bother you. No. Yeah. Let's continue. This All is a no. dead conversation. I'm just saying. No, it's not dead. There's it's a dead things. conversation. It ain't going anywhere. It's going to start bickering. No one wants to see it. No one's bickering. What the fuck are we talking about? Bro, today we're going to talk about uh, number one, P. Diddy. He's uh, the next Epstein, apparently. Puff? P. Diddy? Puff Daddy? Sean Combs? Puff Daddy? Maybe, yeah. What do you mean, maybe? That's his name. I know, but I've only... Uh, P. Diddy, whatever. Who gives a fuck? He's apparently the next Jeffrey Epstein. Why? Wow, what happened? And now people are just scanning through all of his videos with, like, Justin Bieber and shit where he looks, like, uncomfortable. Who? Justin Bieber or P. Diddy? <laughs> P. Diddy. Or no, no, no. Justin Bieber. With P. Diddy, like, touching him and shit. That's why I'm saying, dog, that ludicrous fucking collab didn't make sense. The what? The song Baby. You know how Ludacris is randomly on that song? Yeah. Doesn't make sense. How it makes sense? How did they get Ludacris on that song? No, you get what I'm saying? Ludacris. Get back, motherfucker. Y'all know me like that. It's a baby, baby. (laughs) Where they have, like, a 16-year-old kid just singing baby while, like, Ludacris is, like... Imagine how he felt during that. I mean, First of all, Ludacris looks like he's made out of clay, but I fuck with him. I don't I don't think... You know those, like, Wallace and Grumpet animations? Yeah. That's what Ludacris looks like. But I don't feel like, uh... To me, that song is more normal than fucking, like... Just given the times, right? Like, right around that time, you also had, like... That was right after, like, Akon singing, uh, I Wanna Fuck You and shit like that. Okay. It kind of makes sense for the time. Like, I don't, I don't think that that part's too weird. Ludicrous, bro. Yeah, ludicrous. Get back, motherfucker. Yeah, but Justin Bieber was also like literally went from zero to like, like hundreds of millions of people. So you just think he did it for like getting certain fans and certain money? Yeah, for clout. 100%. That, that's like someone realizing Taylor Swift is blowing up right in the beginning and then they sing a song with her. Like, I feel like it's pretty similar because Justin Bieber literally like flew up immediately. The second no, he was recognized saying, and signed. You don't think fucking... What's his name? Sherlock Holmes? Who? Holmes? P. Diddy. What about him? You don't think he had anything to do with that collab? I mean, he might have. But like, so for Ludacris, the incentive was obvious. Okay. So what did he do? Like, how did he get people? Like, 
so they haven't released much like in terms of like the investigation but they're basically saying that he was uh he was like he was essentially sex trafficking like he was he was essentially sex trafficking like some of them were minors um it gets like pretty deep like i don't believe the shit where he they're like he's the next epstein because Epstein was like a literal like intelligence agent. You seen that thing but, where Epstein's Island's the same thing as the Nickelodeon logo? I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of creepy too. Especially after the fucking quiet on the set shit. Yeah. Bro, that's creepy as fuck. Is that like whole thing done? Like is that series out or is they doing it like weekly? No, it's out. It's like a four part thing. Damn. But did, now it's like Did it's Zach funny. Schneider come out and say anything? Or what was that guy's name? Yeah, he did a whole interview with like someone that was clearly riding him. <laughs> Like, clearly, like, fucking just, you know, essentially, the dude that did his interview was totally dick-riding him. Like, it just completely set up softball questions and shit like that, and shit like that, and Zack Schneider clearly is not an actor, because he was just trying to, like, give what, the what, most is innocent... Is his name Zack Schneider or Dave Schneider? Um, I believe it's Zack Schneider. Are you sure? No, 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 Zack Schneider's the other one, it's, uh, it is, it might be Dave Schneider. Whatever the fuck his name is. I don't know. Are they Big, related? The fat dude. No, Zach... I don't know, actually. No, I think they spell their last names different. Like, Zach Schneider is the one that makes the DC shit. He uh, spells it S-N-Y. Wait, was he molesting people, too? No, totally separate person. So you're just framing an innocent man right now. No, you fucking... It's Dan Schneider. Okay. It's Dan Schneider. Thank God I spelt different and everything. No, you, you brought it up after saying it yourself. What the fuck? Anyways... No, but it's kind of creepy. I know that guy like massages. That's all I saw. I saw like 20 minutes of one episode. Yeah, the last episode. Yeah. But now you got other people coming out saying that they were molested by someone in that industry. What about Josh from Drake and Josh? Apparently he's an asshole. Really? Why? He literally, uh, what do you call it? He didn't invite Drake to his wedding. I, everyone knows that. That was... But like, there's little things like that. Like Drake himself, uh, when he came out and said what happened, like Josh, Josh released this weird video of him just talking shit and he never put a name to the what the shit he was talking but it was pretty obvious it was about drake bell oh yeah oh yeah what a scumbag Dude, bro he was always kind of like you could tell the set what the second he became skinny josh he became, yeah the he second josh a, from drake and josh lost yeah. weight he goes this is what it's like to get bitches full asshole, I, dude. yeah yeah but he was like a prick he became a prick. We don't quick. know that, dog. We don't know that. We're just knowing like what people say about. No, him. he said it. Josh. He, he literally released a video of him acting like an asshole. Like there's there. You don't have to second. You don't have to second guess. You don't have to like conspirarize or whatever the fuck. He released a video of him being a piece of shit. Damn. One hundred percent him. No AI. No nothing involved. He's a dick. One hundred percent. Josh. And. Drake ain't even perfect, but I mean, like, he was raped multiple times over the course of months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, obviously, like... If you don't I'm gonna... think no one was touching Josh? Do you think that's why he has nothing to say? I'm not trying to be rude or anything. He's saying he's jealous. But no, I'm saying he was a little <laughs> heavier back then. Yeah, but he skinnied and... up by the end of that show. Yeah, no, I understand, but by the end of the show, he was older and he was bigger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's a lot easier to take advantage of someone that's fucking 11, 12 than fucking 16, 17. And if he was a little fatty at, like, 11, 12, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying you should do this or anything. And, like, body shaming's bad. Oh, my God. But you got to get to this conclusion Nah, with quick. these fucking guys, you know? They're, like, over here, like, <sighs> licking kids and shit. Like, maybe, like, little tubby Josh is like, why aren't I getting touched? You, you know what I'm saying? Oh, <laughs> I'm just saying, dog. Like, I'm not saying I it's in a bad way. getting to that. Nah, I just, I just, <clears throat> it makes sense. You get what I'm saying? Like, bro, if you fucking, if you're doing creepy shit, why are you going to do, like, shit to someone who you can get He comes across with? as the type of person where, because it didn't happen to him, and because he, he thinks like, it's fake. It's not even, yeah. Or he doesn't take... He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand anything that doesn't happen to him. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's he, like a he Republican. Lacks, he lacks empathy. Yeah, yeah. He's. He, I mean, he, he definitely might have some reactionary fucking tendencies, but like, I just he comes across as a person that does not understand something unless like he's hit in the face with it. You know what I mean? All right. Yeah, but I mean, regardless, fucking yeah, that shit's nuts too. And fucking so the. Another child actor from like Zoe 101 or whatever. Yeah. Uh, what's the name? Fucking 
uh, Matthew Underwood, I believe his name is. He came out, he was saying that his agent molested him. Like, all kinds of shit. And this was the agent that was involved with him during, like, that time period. And that's not, like, fucking. That's, like, groping and shit, right? Well, no. Zake was... Or Zake. Uh, Drake was raped fully. Yeah. I know. I'm talking about, like... No. Well, I mean, like, they... He didn't get into detail. But, I mean, like, the way it seemed from the report, like, he was... He was fully, like... I don't know. I mean, with Drake, it's all in court hearings. So, it's, like... In the show, he wasn't at, he wasn't able to say it. He was yeah. like, "Look, I haven't said anything except in therapy. Like, I just can't." You could tell he couldn't bring himself to say what happened. But then they showed the court documents alongside him talking. Yeah, and it was literally just like just countless unbelievable fucking things that would happen. To him. Like, so just disgusting. And then you wonder why he becomes like you know an addict. He be, he has two DUIs. Like he makes his own mistake in that same realm. I don't. If I'm not mistaken, it didn't go anywhere close to as far. But like, you know, you you create this traumatized person that's like stuck in like a 15 year old headspace. Damn. You know, like it's pretty fucked up. And he's like 40 now. Drake. Yeah, he's a little older. Yeah. During during Drake and Josh, he got he was raped and went through all that right before Drake and Josh started. Going into Drake and Josh, he started that show at like 16. And Drake and Josh from early 2000s. So like what's happening with Nickelodeon? They're not um, getting like whacked? Well, I mean, Nickelodeon's basically just like, you know, saying as time has gone on, we've improved our quality standards and like how these things are run. Um, you know, we did everything we could in this environment. Blah, blah, blah. Like they're just deflecting. Yeah. Constantly. Damn, that's gross as fuck, bro. Oh, like, yeah. Ugh. But, I mean, if you think about it, like, you, it kind of, it's not like it's hard to see how this happened. You know what I mean? Like, you take these kids that are making this television, and then you you have them work seven days in a row fucking making a couple episodes. Yeah. They work 70, 80 hours a week, and then you don't vet the people that are, like, taking care of them. And you know fucking, um... The kids for child like child actors apparently like you don't get royalties unless you're eighteen. Yeah, yeah, unle- or unless your parents are like business savvy and they like you know in your name sign those contracts. Yeah, but I mean like for instance in all that, which is how uh, Dan Schneider got started, and all of that over the course of that show's uh, tenure, there were three convicted pedophiles. Like the person that took care of the kids. Mm-hmm. For years, he was on that set, convicted pedophile. Fucking... The oh, fuck? Uh, the person that did what he did to Drake, he was on that set the entire time, convicted. And so th- and he had to go every day one. to work and see that motherfucker. So, it, in the beginning, up until like the last couple months when it happened, happened, um, everything was normal. He was basically just like a caretaker to, to Drake. Yeah. And then in the last few months... The dude started getting a little weird, whatever else. But Drake had to at that point because he basically isolated Drake from his family and basically took he he found a way to manipulate his family like dynamics because his parents were divorced. And he found a way to basically kick his father out of the situation. His mom was a little like more hands off. And then from there, he controlled the situation. So like in the last few months of whatever like setup they had going on. Drake basically was sleeping over his house constantly because he lived close to the set and he was basically his caretaker at that point. And he woke up one night getting raped. What the fuck? And then because this dude had so much power in Hollywood. Did they ever say the names? The name of the pedophile, yeah. His name was like Brett something. Um, But regardless, that happened the first time. And then because this dude had so much power over Drake... He had to keep it quiet for months because he had power on the set. He had power. Um, he had power in terms of like uh, making his situation work. He had all these things going, and on top of that, he was about to. He was already signed on for Drake and Josh, but he didn't want to ruin that because that was his big break, and it all happened at the same time. Oh, so this was happening at the beginning of the show? No, right before, and then uh... it finally. Well, not because Drake and Josh was a thing on all that. Well, no, no, no. It started there, and then 
because it was so popular, it spun off. But in terms of an actual show, that was his big break, and it happened in that transition period. And what did he do after Drinking Josh? Who, Drake Bell? I mean, he had his money, and that's when he started getting in trouble with DUIs and stuff, with addiction. Yeah. But, like, regardless... Because did he really make music? Yeah. He was a signed artist. Yeah. But, I mean, he made his money in Drake and Josh. And with uh, with Drake Bell specifically, um, all that stuff happened in that transition when they actually had the show Drake and Josh. Um, and then, basically, when they went to trial. Because, so, he had a girlfriend. His girlfriend's mom... The dude that was like the pedophile was like calling the house for hours, like constant, constant, constant saying, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? And like, clearly there was something wrong. And yeah. Drake was starting to like shut down in front of like his girlfriend's parents. And then finally the mom was like, fuck this. Tell me the truth right now. And then this, he told her the truth for the first time in months. He, he said something. And then from there he brought, she brought her, him to her therapist she got the rest of the story out. And then from there, it turned into a trial. And then during the trial, because he had so many Hollywood connections, on his so on Drake's side, it just was him, his mom, and his sister, I believe, or something like that. And then on the other side, of uh, the pedophile side, you literally had the entire courtroom filled up with Hollywood connections and things like that. And they were all supporting the pedophile. And Drake's like, famous quote that he said in the courtroom was like you know is all you see is you know uh is all i see in this courtroom is you defending him and is all i see is this man who raped me multiple times and it will relive in my head forever or something to that extent and like he said that to these hollywood insiders and then the dude was out of jail in 16 months what the fuck and then not only was he out of jail he got a job at disney and he had that job for a few months before, like, it came out that he was a convicted pedophile. Damn. Oh, yeah. And he was uh, he was on the set of, like, Sweet Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Like, Dude, that's he's trying to get insane. that fucking sweet asshole, dog. Dude, fucking creepy as fuck. So, that's the story of, like, fucking what happened in uh, Dan Schneider's studio. And then you just see Josh, little chubby Josh, being like, why can't it be me? Shaking uh, his whole body. Yo, I mean, bro, it just, it's fucked up. And the dude that was the pedophile, he was fighting super hard to be the dad in that show. In the Drake and Josh show. He was fighting super, super hard for that. And Drake finally, like, put his foot down and, like, started, like, fighting it back to, like, try to distance himself from his life before, like, the dude actually got tried, like, arrested. Damn. Oh, yeah. And then Disney's like, yo, sounds good to me. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, no one even knew it was Drake Bell until this uh, documentary came out. Fuck. He, 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 stayed, he kept the court documents sealed with his name. Like, he kept his name redacted from the court documents. And then, it, basically, how that works is you have the right to release your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. then he finally released his name. Is he still with that girlfriend? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. But, yeah, regardless, just fucking absolute disgusting situation. And Dan Schneider was a piece of shit, too. Like, he wasn't, like, he has no, as of now, he has no pedophile, like, you know, sex, sex He looks like a dentist. Or like anything. someone that works on teeth. Yeah, maybe. Or like an orthodontist assistant. Maybe. He looks like an evil John Candy. You know who John Candy is? Nah. Really? He's like a famous, famous actor. He's he's actually funny, but like, he died. He's gone. <laughs> he's he's like he was big in the nineties. Um, but no, he, he's like not a convicted sex offender or whatever else. But the conditions in his studio created that environment for multiple pedophiles to like exist. That's so gross, bro. Yeah, like, like I don't know how to say this without sounding insane, but. Best you don't. <laughs> I don't know what you're cooking right now. Do people that like kids are just really good at making kids shows? Because they kind of have that like... Like child brain? Kid, yeah, that kid mindset. But with like adult fucking 
Yeah, but you're like 40. Yeah, they have like adult experience, but like a kid mindset. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Like, Because when motherfuckers are like, <clears throat> even like my age or like a little bit younger, like when they're like, yeah, when she's 18, I'm going to. I'm like, when she's 18, dog. 18? Like, that's fucking disgusting. You yeah, feel that's, me? that's creepy to me. Yeah. Um, bro, if you're 18 you hit me up, I'm kicking you in the fucking chest. Well, I mean, yeah, but at least, like, that's in the the legal zone, even if it's still weird. No, but, but I'm like, saying that's if you're If you're seeing someone that's, like, 16, 17, and then they turn 18 and you're waiting, that's, that's weird. That's yeah, fucking Yeah, dog, that's fuck. fucking weird. Or, like, motherfuckers that some, um... Some countries, it's, uh, what's it called? It's of age. If, like, there's fucking 16. Oh, yeah. No, no. That, that, that is that? the thing. Like, I, like, it's, uh, that's big in, like, I know Japan's one of the countries that, uh, there's, like, there's a, there's a lower age of legality. Yeah, I think um, Jamaica, too. Yeah. I think I, Jamaica there's some 16. countries in Europe. Um, where else? I mean, that. Unfortunately, that is, like, that was a normal thing for a long, long time. What the fuck am I going to do? How am I going to connect with someone that's 16 or 18, you feel me? I think that's, that's like, that's, that's, disgusting. that's the piece you're missing is, you know, now you look for a connection. You look for someone that's, you know, going to be your partner in a sense, right? But back then, it wasn't about connection. It was about you'll learn to love them. Like, that's, that, it's a power, it's a power move. Like we're gonna we're gonna fuse families. We're gonna you know we're gonna solve issues with these marriages. We're gonna do all these different things. You know that's that's the way it was looked at for a long long time. That's fucking gross. You know what I mean? You know we're gonna like solve a family dispute with this marriage. And my daughter has a essentially has a husband from the time she's like essentially ten, and then it's not gonna be like legitimized until she's like. 14 or 15 or 16 but like that's the way it was forever you know and obviously i don't it's so sad yeah it's super sad because like at the end of the day you take that child's potential away like you know i mean and then on top of that who the hell wants to learn to love someone like that i do yeah about it i want a fucking 80 year old right now dog yeah but i mean at that point you know at least you can get into their inheritance you know i don't even want the inheritance I want to sign up. Yeah, it's up. just for the love of the game. Just for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, that's interesting. I would make the 80 year old rethink everything about their life. Yeah. I'd spit in their asshole. Wow. I'd steal their shoes. Wow. Just for the love of the game. I dude. would just take all the bed sheet corners off. Oh, boy. Every morning. Dude, well, I mean, you've heard it here first. Jesus Christ. Yo, dog, I saw the most vicious motherfucker yesterday. I went, listen. I do like little random nice things sometimes, you know. I hold the door for some motherfuckers. I'll like, yeah. there was this one time this guy was about to pay Apple Pay with his phone and he didn't get a connection. I was like, bro, it's 10 bucks. I got it. I got it. So, uh, like, I, I remember a couple months ago, I held the store open for this lady and I was wearing my brand, all this shit. And she's like, she read my shirt, but then she was carrying something. And then she's like, oh, thank you. Like, people don't hold doors like for people anymore. I was like, shut up, bitch. I just like shut the door, but um, you didn't do that, did you? This guy saw I had shit in my hand, and he opened the door. I was right behind him, and he just went, and the door closed on my face, and I literally like went like that against the door, and like I fell, and I was just like, "Sir, you did this!" <laughs> and he was like, "Not me!" And I was like, "Please help!" And then he just ran away. Yo, what a piece of fuck shit. that guy. I feel like I'm like too much on the other direction. Like I'll You're hold, too much. You gotta I'll, start being a I'll piece hoard, of shit, bro. No, 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 no. I think that's. A good I'm thing. serious. You gotta start being rude, bro. You gotta start being a fucking asshole. You told me the other day you were like, if I was if I was a scumbag, I'd be so much further in this life. Where would you be? I don't know. I feel like I, honestly. Then start being it. No, nah, it's not right. Start being it, dog. At the end of the day, I have to live with myself. And if I don't like the Not if you suppress if your emotions. If I don't like the feeling that creates in me, I don't want to do it. Nah, sometimes you just got to be a fucking savage, dog. No, there's a difference between being a savage and then, like, straight up, like, knowing... Like, Listen, if you see the fine lines in people and you can, and you can manipulate... I've been playing Hell's Divers too. It's not too. my thing. I don't like I've been it. playing Hell's Divers too long enough to know. 
If there's a thousand bugs and there's four of you and you call in an airstrike and one of those motherfuckers on your team is still there, it's all right if one person dies for yeah. a thousand okay. enemies to get killed. Times of war <laughs> in a fucking video game are way different than like, like if you have to make callous logical decisions. That's different, and it's only okay in those moments. And even then, it's like there's moral ambiguity there. Nick, but like, this is different. Way different the, of a situation. Bro, we're getting on the E-train, and the fucking... The Metro card only works for savages. Are you getting on the train or no? What do you mean? Yeah, I'm not missing the fucking train, but that's different. Who am I stealing from? Huh? Who am I stealing from in that I'm situation? I'm stealing a seat from an old lady. You've been on this train enough of your life. What? No, you're talking about the Metro card itself. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to hop the fucking bars You got to hop it sometimes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, you got... I'm telling you Once right I'm on now. the train, I could be a nice dude again. Mm. I mean, you gotta, on top of that, who am I stealing from with the Metro card? Listen, all I'm saying is, in your life, if you hold doors open for people, that didn't bring you... Like, that. not doing that isn't going to shoot you so much further in life. No, that's not but what I'm saying. Sometimes... That is not what I'm saying listen, at all. Sometimes if you're trapped in a cave with a bunch of people, you got to be the first person to eat someone. Okay, again, unbelievable extreme of a situation where, of course, I would have to do certain things that I would not have to do in a normal Listen, day. are you going to be the first eaten or are you going to be the first eight? That's the same thing. <laughs> that is the same thing. Are you going to be I the... I think you meant to say, are you going to be the one to eat or are you going to be the one to die? <laughs> like, what? Let's be honest. Yeah, but that's different. I'm letting again, you know right now. When you're comparing... If I'm stuck in a cave with you... Ten minutes in, I'm hitting you over the head with a fucking rock. Ten minutes in. Ten minutes in, though. You're a piece of shit. Uh, but, hey, Ten but I'm minutes. Full. No loyalty. No right loyalty. Here. At None. all. None. Talks a big game until he's in that pressure situation. What do you mean? <laughs> I want to bring out the game. boulder season. I'm a good person. I'm a good person. Then I'll, this motherfucker's seasoning my leg. <laughs> like, get the fuck out of here. I have a friend, and I think we're, he, like, he's starting to understand. Like My, my fruitions of him are coming true. I always tell him, listen, deep down I'm a good person, but like, you all right? Yeah. You hungry? Don't worry about it. You little fast, fast belly was uh, I'm good. rumbling. It's all Chilling. the licorice you ate. Nope. So, I always tell him, I'm like, listen, I'm a piece of shit up front, but not, deep down inside I'm a good person. You know, like you can like see it, like I'll do nice things. I was like, you're a good person up front, but deep down inside you're a piece of shit. And I tell him this, you know. He looks at me when I first tell him, he goes, how do you know? And gives me this scumbag fucking secret society ruler smile and walks away. And now I got a couple more people on board and he's starting to like figure it out. And we're starting to rebel against him. And then people are like, actually, Dylan, you bring that up. You're right. So who is this? Jordan. Jordan. (laughs) (laughs) I hide it. (laughs) <laughs> good on the outside <laughs> he's not a great person on the outside he's the type of person <coughs> that would date a single mother just to hit their kids wow wow really that's where we're at oh yeah <laughs> yo that's crazy dude tell me it doesn't make sense oh man maybe you see it right maybe I'm vlogging out that name, but maybe. Nah. <laughs> Leave it in. now. <laughs> That's I want them, crazy. I want them to know. <clears throat> yeah. Holy shit. I started shit. telling it. And everyone's like, no, nah, what do you mean? Because they were saying something and they were like, when they see him at my job, they were like, oh my God, hey, what's up? And when they see me, they're like, oh, Dylan. But then I look well, at them. they come to when the moment start? This guy. Exactly. I'm like, who do you come to when you need help? I'm like, and then there was one time, this was kind of fucked up, but I had a friend. I'm not going to say his name. Gerson. So <laughs> he did something where we had a class. We had to take like a wine class. And this wine class was like four hours long. Yeah. He came to this wine class at four o'clock, left at eight. His relief, who he's relieving, was there from 11. Didn't get to leave till eight because of him. And then she was like, she said something, and she's like, you know, Gerson's like a nice guy and everything. Like, I'm not going to snap on him. He probably didn't know. I said, first of all, he 100% knew. I said, second of all, he's a nice guy, right? She's like, yeah. I was like, tell me one nice thing he's ever done for you. I was like, because he does all these nice things for himself. 
I was like, he's never done anything nice for you. I was like, you could, what's so nice? Yeah, you're just poking holes in people out there. But, she's like, actually, you're fucking right. Fuck him. But then, when people are like, Dylan's such an asshole, they're like, name something mean he's done. Oh, you can't. You do a lot of the small shit. <laughs> you do a lot of the small shit. Like, like you do shit on the surface where you're just like, that's petty as fuck. Like, you do a lot of that type of shit. But when again, when it, when things actually mean something, you 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 do the right thing. I, my ma- it's not even my manager. There's this person who I don't respect. It's demoted. <laughs> and we, my, f- we have like. Sections in my job. Yeah, my section was closed for twenty minutes. About to go home. She sits somewhere in my section. I find this out. I take my shoe off and throw it at them as hard as I can. <laughs> it hit the wall, and I'm pretty sure it dented the wall. <laughs> and I walked away. You got Sh- some arm strength. I was shoeless the rest of the fucking day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then that guy looked at me and he wanted something for free. I said, "Sir, I could have been home an hour and a half ago." I said, "You you ain't getting dick." Yeah. You're gonna pay your check. Stiff me as you planned and then get the fuck out. What a piece of shit. I hate I hope, that. I hope they're, they're watching this. I hate that, dude. I hope all your tires are flat. That's crazy. Fuck that bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I hope they're flat while you're driving. <laughs> and it's just thumping around while yeah. you're fucking driving. And your kids are at danger. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Come on. Not that. Not yeah. That. Not that. If they're flat, they gotta be flat for a reason. Yeah. I hope you're getting finger cramps while your fucking tires are flat. My mom used to get toe cramps when she would drive. And I remember, she, dog, she would scream like she was rushing into war. And she'd be like, someone pass me a Diet Coke. <laughs> and there was one I don't time, know if that's helping. <laughs> I, I knew. I was like, Ma, you need water? She's like, Diet Coke. Yeah, toes. it's like an and I would get the thing. diet coke and I just throw it out the window. Yeah, what the fuck? What the like, nah, bro. Have you ever had it where like not only do you cramp up, but your fucking hands or feet curl up? Have you ever had that? You're dying, bro. No, like, I don't know how to say it. you're. You're that's, gonna. That's die a normal soon. thing. No, that's, it's not. Yeah, it is. It doesn't happen often, and it's only happened to me once when I was way, way younger. But like someone else brought it up that that happened to them, and they fucking were on the ground dying, like fucking wrecked. And it reminded me that it happened to me one time during Halloween when I was super dehydrated and I didn't realize it. I was in like a fucking giant costume and I was sweating my ass off for hours. Sometimes this hurts. Like my ribs. Yeah. Like right here. It's like a dehydration, dehydration thing. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people that happens to. I don't know. Just brought it up. Just reminded me. Uh, is there anything else you want to talk about? Yeah. It's smelled this whole podcast. Nah, it smelled great. All right. Beta, we're, beta was out. Hardly a wake out.